Hey guys, welcome to my all day clean with me. Today is a super motivating one. I had tons of cleaning to get done. Lots of dusting, deep cleaning, mopping, pressure washing. So if you guys are in need of some cleaning motivation, you are in the right place. I'm also gonna be sharing a super easy but delicious meatloaf recipe at the very end of this video. So don't miss out on that. It is a recipe that's been handed down in the family and I think it's amazing and so does my family. But before we get to that, we are starting off in my bedroom. I wanted to tidy it up a bit and gather all the laundry so I could get some laundry going before we head outside and start using my new pressure washer which I'm really excited to show you guys. And I wanted to take a moment to thank anyone who might be new here, especially if you came over from Carrie's channel. My last video was a collab with her and I just want you to know how much I truly appreciate you guys coming over and deciding to hit that subscribe button. It really means the world to me and I hope you know that I am super grateful and I hope that I earn your subscription and you stick around because it really does mean so much to me. And make sure you guys leave me comments. I love getting to know y'all and just chatting down in the comments. It really is the best part about YouTube, but I hope you guys know how much I appreciate you. New and old subscribers, you guys are seriously amazing and you are the reason why I love making YouTube videos. And I think to myself, thinking out loud we won't need nothing i love vacuum lines you guys vacuuming is probably my favorite chore to do mainly because when i get done it's so satisfying seeing the lines in the carpet it really does bring me joy it's the little things in life especially as a parent let me know down in the comments what's that one thing you do that just brings you so much satisfaction you guys this poor plant <laughs> is not gonna make it so i'm sorry i have to throw it out if you guys follow me on my vlogging channel then you know it was just my daughter's 12th birthday party over the weekend and i'm recording this sunday the day after her party so i had so much to get done we had a blast her birthday party was just the family. We went out to Synergy, we did arcade games, and I took her shopping. It was seriously so much fun. I will put that video in the cards if you wanna check that out. So you guys know I always use the downy light beads in the Ocean Mist scent, which I did order some more, I'm almost out, but I saw they had this new scent online. It's the Downy Infusion Radiant. And it's pineapple and coconut grove. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. I cannot wait to try this out, but just smelling it in the bottle, it smells so tropical. So this is gonna be the next one that I try out. I'll let you guys know what I think about it on the clothes, but in the container, it smells amazing. So now that the laundry is started, I am ready to head outside and clean my disgusting car. I wanted to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, which is Draft Tools. They were kind enough to gift me with this amazing pressure washer. This high pressure washer generates up to a max of 2200 PSI and a 2.1 GPM of water flow. It comes with four different nozzles to meet your needs for whatever you might be cleaning. It also comes with this soap spray bottle that is super easy to fill up with your own cleaner and you just attach it to the tip of the pressure washer and you can easily spray it onto whatever you might be cleaning. Today, I'm gonna be cleaning my filthy car. As you can see, it was in need of some TLC, so I just easily attached the soap dispenser. I didn't have any car wash, so I'm actually just using some dish detergent, which worked great. And the top selling feature of this pressure washer for me has to be the 100 foot retractable hose. I love this feature so much. It made using a pressure washer so easy. By far, hands down, the best pressure washer I've used with ease. 
because you just simply pull the hose until you get the length that you need and then you just give it a little tug and it will lock into place and you can clean whatever you're cleaning and then whenever you're done you just give it a little tug again and it will retract back in nice and neatly onto the wall mount but as y'all can see, I started off with the soap dispenser and after using that, I switched to the white tip, which is the 40 degree angle. I just wanted to see what kind of pressure I got. It worked great, but I wanted just a little bit more pressure because my car was so dirty. So I went to the next tip, which was the 25 degree and it worked great. It got the dirt off of the car and left it so nice and shiny looking. The kids were loving the pressure washer. They kept taking turns cleaning the car, which made it a lot of fun. And they also wanted to help me dry the car because we do have really hard water. So I did not want spots all over the car. So we quickly dried it off and you guys blown away. Look how shiny and clean. The pressure washer did an amazing job at getting off all the bugs and the dirt and the pickup was super simple. You simply turn off your water hose, turn off your pressure washer, and you then let out the water in your gun, and then you are ready to retract it back into place. And what I love the most as well is that it has these really nice compartments on the back of the pressure washer to store not only the gun, but also the soap dispenser. So make sure you guys head down to my description, check the link out. I have a discount code for you guys to help save you some money. I know you guys will love this pressure washer. So once again, thank you so much Giraffe Tools for sponsoring today's video, but let's hop right back into it. I wanted to thank you guys for trusting in me whenever I make these recommendations. Just know that I do try every single product out and make sure it is of great quality before recommending it. So thank you so much for listening and for being here and just watching. Even if you don't ever buy from me, just being here and watching truly means so much and it helps support me and my family. So I hope you guys know how grateful I am. But I am now back inside and starting off in the living room. It wasn't too messy in here. I just had some of these magnetic tiles on the floor. My son is still obsessed with these. He makes me build with him every single day, which of course I do not mind but I quickly needed to tidy these up and then I noticed there was tons of dust and just like it the living room needed deep cleaning so we're gonna be dusting around my fireplace getting up all the dead ants you guys I've sprayed not only inside but outside and I need to head to like Lowe's or Home Depot because you guys recommended I think the name of it is tarot or tar tarot I believe I don't know something like that but I took a screenshot of it so I can look for it when I go to the store. I have sprayed outside. It seems to help, but I don't know where they're coming in. I did find there was like a little ant pile beside the house, so I sprayed that really well. I'm hoping it'll take care of it, and I'm going to pick up that better um, ant killer you guys recommended. So I will keep you posted if it gets better. I needed to clean these cup holders out, so I'm now cleaning them out with the Scentsy um, countertop spray. It is in Fruity Punch, I believe is the name of it. You guys, it smells so good. This is the new package of Scentsy stuff I just got in. I couldn't get the pineapple hibiscus, but I ordered this Fruit Punch one, and I'm seriously loving it. My husband really loves it. <laughs> like Every time I clean with it, he's like, oh my gosh, the house smells so good. So this is probably going to be another staple cleaner we use because my husband loves it so much. I also got a wax melt in 
think it was called like rainbow sherbet. Oh, it smells so good, like so, so good. Even though I'm ready to start bringing out the fall scents, I have to say I'm loving the fruit punch as well. And here are all of those nasty little ants. I'm really wondering, are they, are they getting through our fireplace too? Just because we have a gas fireplace and I know we have that like attachment on the wall outside. So I did spray around that vent thing where it says like gas or whatever. <laughs> I sprayed around that. Hopefully that'll get rid of the ants. We shall see but I really needed to clean down here. It was so dusty. A lot of the house was dusty. I've really been focusing on dusting a lot, like the blinds and my curtains, and you'll see a little bit in this video, I'm also dusting around the front door. It was so bad, you guys. So like I mentioned, Aubrey had her 12th birthday over the weekend and you guys, I was struggling. I cannot believe my oldest daughter is now 12. Every time I think about it, it seriously just like brings tears to my eyes. I just don't know where the time has went. So I was really struggling over the weekend. If you guys saw my vlog, I'm sure you saw but I don't know, it's just like time is going by so fast and I just can't even imagine like when all my kids are grown, I don't know. It's just been laying heavy on my heart recently and so I just thought I would say something and say if you guys are also struggling with that right now, I know especially with school starting, you know, if you have little ones starting kindergarten or even high school or college, just know I feel you. I'm right there with you. My mama heart. Ah, oh, sometimes it's so hard. It's like bittersweet watching them grow up, but just know I'm right there with you. This is my new plug-in from Bath and Body Works and it like shines Happy Halloween whenever you plug it in. I am so excited to decorate with it and I got some scents to go in here. Also, I did go to Bath and Body Works and they had their buy two candles, get two free, so I also got those. So thank you guys for letting me know about the deal because I hurried and went while it was still going on. Thankfully the kitchen wasn't that messy. I just needed to pick up a few things off of the countertops, load the dishwasher, and the kitchen was basically pretty much good to go. The theme for today when I was cleaning was getting the downstairs all tidied up because I knew my O Cedar mop was coming in the mail. I saw that Amazon, you know, was it was saying it was going to be delivered today, so I wanted to be sure to have the floors all cleared off and like vacuumed and stuff that way I could mop as soon as I got it and you guys I was beyond excited especially after reading all of y'all's comments on my last video and like just your all of y'all's recommendations ah, I was beyond excited to get it and to try it out
now I'm heading into the dining room. Really not that messy, just a few things on the floor, but this vent, you guys, disgusting. <laughs> so I really wanted to clean that, but before I could clean it, I needed to get some of these toys out of the box. That way I could actually put the lid on the toy box. And to make it easier on me, I love using my laundry basket. I fill it up with all the toys and just carry it upstairs. That way I'm not making a million trips The ceilings are kind of tall in here, otherwise I would have used a microfiber cloth and just cleaned it, but it makes me really nervous standing on the top of the ladder, so I went ahead and just opted to use my Swiffer. I love this thing, it has like the extendable handle, so it can reach up really high, and you guys, this was so dusty. I can't believe I let it get this bad. Now we're heading to like my little entryway. I noticed the bottom of the windowsill right here was super bad, like covered in dirt. So we're gonna be dusting the blinds, cleaning the windowsill. I wanted to wipe down the front door and of course clean that window above the door because that's where it was super dusty. It's getting close to the time where I need to go through the house and clean all of the doors because the fingerprints and the baseboards around the doors are looking a bit dingy. So that's definitely gonna be on my to-do list very soon. When I went to go dust this pillow down at the bottom, I was like smacking it. My husband was like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> I was seriously beating it. There was so much dust coming out of it. So I just thought that was pretty funny. You come around. You guys, I am super excited. I finally got the Cedar Mop. I just got it in the mail. You guys recommended the newer model where it like separates the dirty water from the clean water. So that's the one I picked up. I am beyond excited to try it out. Let you guys know what I think about it. I was looking online for like hacks. So I think I'm going to 
get some boiling hot water, and I'm gonna clean my floors with pine salt because that's just what I love. So I'm gonna quickly vacuum the floors downstairs so we can then mop them. It was super easy to put together, but you guys, <laughs> typical fashion, I did not read the instructions, so I went ahead and left that part in here. You guys will see in just a little bit <laughs> what went wrong, but typical me, I never read anything. <laughs> but before I could get started on mopping, I still needed to vacuum, so I'm just going to go ahead and shake out my rugs. I should have took them outside to shake them, but I was being lazy, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> but we're going to vacuum really quick before we get to mopping, and I did go ahead and put some water on the stovetop. It was boiling while I was vacuuming. That way it could get really hot by the time I was done. And you can see Adrian; she was bringing down all of her holy leggings. I had told her that she needed to go through her clothes. With school starting, we bought her tons of new clothes and leggings and stuff but she hadn't got rid of her old stuff, so she was going through and finding all of her holy leggings and disposing of those. Now time to mop and of course I did not realize that the videos I was watching <laughs> was of the older mops so I thought I just dumped the water into here which also the lid of my pine saw fell off and I almost stuck my hand in the water then I realized <laughs> that was not a smart idea <laughs> so I had to use a fork to get the lid out and I fill it up and I'm so excited to go put the top on and I realized something is not right since I had already boiled the water, I didn't want to have to reboil anything, so I'm just using my measuring cup to dump it into the little hole. And I have to say that's the only downside because I was pretty excited about just like being able to dump boiling water into it and use it, which I'm sure they make like, you know, like a teapot or a kettle. I mean, I don't have one. I can get one, but... That's the only downside, but besides that, you guys, I love this mop. I first had to clean up the floor because I made a big mess, but it has this little lever and you raise it up and it dispenses the clean water in there and then you spin dry it and I loved it. It worked so good. It got my floors super clean and I think I'm going to be mopping way more frequently now because it was just super satisfying. Like, not only did my house smell amazing like Pine Sol, but it looked so clean and it just left that freshness in the air. And I also went ahead and bought the mop where it comes with two extra replacements. That way, in case, you know, I have a really nasty spill somewhere or there's something nasty I need to mop up, I can, you know, swap it out and put a new head on it. So I'm thinking about shopping for like all of my fall decor really, really soon. I have some things in mind of like what I want to do and how I want to decorate. And of course, as a YouTuber, we're supposed to decorate early and help motivate you guys and, you know, give you all the ideas and deals going on. So I think I'm going to be shopping very soon and I wanted to know 
what you guys thought. Do you want to see a like decorate and clean with me on this channel? Or would you just not really prefer to see me decorate and I just kind of give you a quick summary after I'm done and I can do the decorating on my vlogging channel? Just let me know if that's something you guys are interested in because I have done decorate and clean with me's on this channel before and they don't seem to do that amazing but if I have enough comments and you guys are interested I will definitely make that video for y'all I'm super excited to start decorating I have to make a trip to my storage unit because I do have a lot of stuff in there so I definitely want to go there see what I have and obviously <laughs> make sure I don't buy you know double of anything because I don't need any extra clutter than we already have I could not believe how dirty this water was when I got done. I knew the floors needed to be mopped, but I didn't realize how bad <laughs> until I dumped that water out and saw how filthy it was. I hadn't mopped in quite some time because having my mom in town and stuff, you know, I was just kind of doing the basics, just enough to, you know, keep the house decent looking, not really too much deep cleaning. So I'm really glad I got this mopping done. I am finally now switching the laundry over. It had been sitting in here for quite some time because I was cleaning literally all day long. But now we're gonna get to the laundry, get this folded and it's switched over, get some more going. y'all have a basket of laundry lying around your house go ahead pick it up let's fold together come fold along with me in my misery I have to say laundry is definitely my least favorite chore which is not good for me because as a family of six we have never-ending laundry I mean I just it doesn't matter how much laundry I do we are always behind the kids are always telling me mom I don't have any clothes and <laughs> But I'm hoping soon I can start getting Aubrey, my now 12 year old, to start doing the laundry. I was making her fold the clothes, but you guys, her folding was so bad. Like, and I sat there and like tried to explain like how to fold the laundry, but I just feel like she has the intention span of like, I don't even know. Like she just gets bored and so she tries to hurry up and then your clothes are all wrinkled and I was like, you know what, we're just gonna wait a little bit. I'll give you this chore at a later time because I just couldn't. And then if I have to stand over and watch her, then it kind of defeats the purpose. I feel like I might as well just do it myself. <laughs> so I thought I would share my super simple yet delicious meatloaf recipe with you guys. So our family, obviously as a family of six, we need more beef, but you can half this recipe if you have a smaller family. So for us, we're doing two pounds of ground beef, some panko crumbs, any sort of bread crumbs will work. I'm gonna be using panko. And for seasonings, it's gonna be garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and some onion. And then you're gonna need two eggs to combine in there. And then at the bottom of the pan, we're gonna be laying some slices of bread to help soak up some of that grease. And then I do top it with a special sauce that I will share with you guys here in just a minute. So I will write out this recipe down in the description, 
but I am not much for measuring unless it's like a new recipe I've never tried before. Otherwise, I just kind of eyeball it. So what I do is I put my two pounds of beef in here. I'm gonna mince up my onions as small as I can. My kids are super picky, so you know how it is. If you have big chunks of onions, they're gonna freak out. So I try to cut them up as small as I possibly could. I'm gonna throw that in there with two eggs, about a third to half a cup of breadcrumbs, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. This is kind of to your liking. As you can see, I just kind of sprinkle it on until it looks like a lot. If I'd have to guess, I'm around a teaspoon for everything except for pepper, probably less for pepper. I'm not a huge fan of pepper. But once I have everything in there, I just mix it by hand until it's nice and combined. If it's too runny, then you would just add some more breadcrumbs. That's kind of how I eyeball it. Then in your pan, you're gonna lay out some bread. My pan was a little bit longer, so I needed three slices of bread, and I'm going to mold my meatloaf into a loaf, and I like to almost make a boat out of it. I like to sink down the middle just a little. Since I do top it with a special sauce, I like to make sure I have a place for the sauce to like sit into. And then you're gonna pop it in the oven at 350 for roughly around 50 minutes to like an hour and 15 minutes. I just keep checking it. This loaf was really big, so it ended up taking about an hour and 15 minutes in total. You just wanna check the internal temperature, make sure it's to at least 160, and then you wanna let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes afterwards to you know, get nice and firm. But I will show you guys the special sauce. I do about half a cup of ketchup, about a fourth a cup of mustard, and then one to two tablespoons of brown sugar. You mix this up really well. And then when your meatloaf is about five to 10 minutes done, like you have five or 10 minutes left, then you're going to pull it out, put this sauce on top, and then pop it back into the oven just for a little longer. That way the sauce can heat up with your meatloaf. And as sides, I went ahead and made some green beans and I just do some salt, pepper, and butter in them. Sometimes I like to throw in a little bit of garlic powder for some extra flavor. And then I also made some Texas toast on the side and that was what we made for dinner. It was seriously so good. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, join my YouTube family. I upload new cleaning motivation every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.